Bakra Nation and welcome. It's Craig, your spring training host. Let's go back to the Bakra game. Yeah, okay. <laughs> As I've mentioned in the Facebook group, I've been focusing on flat betting. And I've been really busy taking some training in this area to uh, help improve my flat betting because it's I haven't really made a totally flat betting video ever. I've had some elements of flat betting, but it always turned into some kind of progression. Um, so now I'm strictly want to stick with flat betting, which for video purposes is rather boring. <laughs> I mean, that's why you don't see a whole lot of flat betting videos because frankly, they're boring um, for the most part. And it's been a while since I put out a video because I've been going through this training and um, I'm actually paying for training, which is something I have always been against as far as buying systems and stuff. Um, so I'm going to tread cautiously with this as I don't want to promote something from someone who's selling something yet so far since i've gone live using real money i have gone played 14 days with real money um some of the stats i've got right now is so far i played over 700 hands actually 709 to be exact uh, so i think i got a pretty good early sample size to go by uh, and that's a lot of hands. <laughs> um, of the 709 hands, I won 382 hands and lost 327 hands for a current uh, win percentage of 54%. During that time, I've also made 64 units total, which is a lot more than I expected. Uh, frankly, with flat betting, I usually poop out because it's so it can be so boring and um it's hard to stick with at least that was the case before now i'm kind of into the flat bet groove so um i actually find it kind of exciting in a way believe it or not <laughs> but 64 units so far so you can put whatever dollar amount you want on that and that's could be a sizable chunk of money and the whole thing with flat betting um, if you can't win flat betting, you really have no business using progressions of any sort because <laughs> that's just going to lead you down a dangerous path. And, um, I'm pretty happy with how this is going. Now, some of this stuff is proprietary, so I can't tell everything I'm doing, but I can give enough that, um, for the majority of what I do, I can tell you. Now, what I'm going to be going over is the basic foundation of what I do. And um, I will use some other proprietary indicators, which I'm not going to be able to tell you about. But that's why I'm going to stick to the basic format of it, which is the predominance of what I do. And... Um, I want this to go at least, I want to see at least a full month doing this. Preferably also get up to a thousand hands played to get more of a sampling. Uh, at that time, if things continue the way they are doing now, I will be doing a full endorsement of what I'm doing. Um, so I'm not going to leave you hanging in the lurch of what I'm doing. And some people that are into the whole flat betting thing, they may know, know already what I'm doing. Um, just from recognizing how I'm going to be playing, which is fine. I just don't want to put it out there yet. Because like I said, I'm kind of torn with the whole pain for something, even though what I'm doing to show you right now is available for free. Just I'm not going to endorse it yet. So with that said, we're going to do a little playing right now. And, um, Explain a little more of what I'm doing. So, take me out to the Bakra game. Alright, as you can see, our burn card is an ace. 
I'm going to be playing on Bakra Win Pro. I signed up for a month. Um, it's actually a pretty good simulation site. Um, so since I'm paying for it, let's use it. <laughs> okay, as you saw, the burn card was an ace. So if you remember a few videos ago, I mentioned about um, when an ace comes up on the burn card to bet the tie next for the beginning of the first hand. So let's put a pretend bet on the tie. Click. Okay, let's see if a tie comes out this time. Let's deal the hand. Oh! <laughs> we got the tie. Okay, well that time it worked. So, I don't know if there's really something to that or not, but that's something that's out there about putting a um, tie bet after the first, um, if an ace comes out on the burn card. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to see at least um, 10 to 12 hands. So um, with this, I'm going to jump ahead 10 hands and we'll see what we have. Okay, so got our stats over here. 11 hands played, three players, six bankers, two ties. And it tells you um, how many cards have been dealt, how many cards are left. I currently have the shoe set to uh, stop at 60 hands, which is about where I would want to stop when I'm playing live. Oh, which I forgot to mention, for the, um, the hand breakdown, um, I've been playing about 50-50, 50% live dealer, 50% uh, are my favorite RNG. So I've been getting a nice mix between the two. I know I have been playing more hands on the RNG than live, um, but overall for session counts, it's about even, which I was surprised because I thought I played a lot more RNG than um, live, but I think that's because I play more hands normally with the RNG. So it's got that feeling that I'm playing more. And a session can be anything from one hand to five hands, to half a shoe, to a whole shoe. Uh, it's, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, just depends on how long you want to play. Okay, so basically what I'm going to be looking for at this level here is I'm going to be looking at the shoe and I'm going to be keeping track of the number of one in a rows, two in a rows, and three in a rows. And I'm going to be looking for any deviations or variances in the count between the two. And when there's a big variation or deviation between the two, that's primarily what I'm going to be betting on, um, going with that side that has the variation. So we'll play a little long here. Uh, my goal is uh, three units is what I typically go for. And uh, today I'm going to be using a four unit stop loss. My stop loss hasn't, I haven't locked it in yet. Uh, it's somewhere going to be four, four to six is going to probably be my stop loss because my average win is three units. So, you know, if I lose one, then it's not too hard to uh, make that up. <clears throat> so, and like I said, if you can't win flat betting, you don't need to be doing any progressions. So our goal is to win three units here. And we already had a heck of a nice tie win, <laughs> although we didn't, we're not gonna count that in the shoe. Um, so let's get things going here. Okay, so basically you're gonna have to keep track of these stats on paper and pencil so you can keep things straight. There are easier ways to keep it uh, straight but I'm um, not going to get into that right now. Um, if we do get to the full disclosure, our full um, endorsement, uh, I will be talking more about that. But for right now, I need to update myself on what has happened so far. Okay, just give me a second to get caught up here. We got a player, banker, player, player. Banker, banker, sorry. Player, banker, tie, 
bank or oh my gosh i can't talk i can't think okay i think i got it right this time <laughs> let's see banker player banker banker player banker tie player banker banker okay it's early yet um normally i don't keep track of ties i'm just um doing it right now so i can keep an accurate count going between um I want to make sure I'm in sync with what's going on with the board here. Um, all right. So after all that, let's get going here. Uh, right now, I am not showing any um, deviations right now. So we are going to take a free hand. Oh, like I said, we are. Um, I'm going to be using four unit stop loss. And we just got a player. So, mark that down. Uh, I'm going to be using $50 bets, which is what I would be using primarily at the casinos. You're either going to get a $25 or $50 table if you're lucky. <laughs> I know the places like um, when I was at Hollywood Casino, that was the limits there. So, I'll be going with the $50. And if you times that by four, that's $200 is what I'm going to be betting, playing with as my bankroll for this session. Okay, and we're going for three wins, so about $150, so that's pretty good. Um, anyways, sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. I'm looking at my board of stats and... It looks like we are going to be okay there now things are in sync I forgot to add that first tie in I was wondering why my count was different than the um, the count on here okay now that I'm in sync and we have a good indication for a banker bet now to, that banker bet is based off of this player bet here that it's not going to drop to two so far the um, deviation is three to nothing that it will continue to a banker bet so I'm going to bet fifty dollars on banker here we go All right, cool. We won that one. So our first bet on hand 13 was a banker, and we won, so we are now up one unit, $50 up. Well, 47.50 since it was a banker bet. We had to pay a commission of $2.50. I'm going to turn this to fast mode so it doesn't deal out all the cards one at a time. It'll just get right to the result so we can speed things along here. And um, let's see, I need to record my banker. And nothing showing on the board, so we will take a free hand. And another tie. Another one. Get player. Okay. We now have another variance here uh, back on the player again um, we are up four to nothing that it's going to go to banker so with that margin we are going to place another bet on banker for fifty dollars we'll go back to medium because i like the slow play and the ones i actually bet on makes it a little more exciting <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're up one unit. Let's see if we can get up to two units here. Oh, nice. Nine over one on the bank. All right, so that'll give us our second win. So we're currently up two units. Go back to fast. There's nothing showing on the board. Deal out of hand. 
two to player. Well, not two to player, but uh, it's a two player win. And hmm, 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 hmm. hmm. Okay, uh, kind of pushing our luck on this disparity, but um, it is five to nothing. So we will place another bet on banker. Should I keep this all straight. Over here, you see uh, the last bet. Uh, we did win the $50. So it kind of keeps track of bets won, bet loss. So uh, it's actually kind of cool the way it tracks. Uh, I believe it's um, 1999 a month. And there's a discount if you do like three months or more, I think. Um, I'm just trying it out for this month. But anyways, let's see how we do. Uh, let's see, back to medium. Banker bit. Ooh. Nope. Player took that one. So we take a loss. We'll bay back down to plus one unit. And did I mark that? No. Okay, there. Yep, nothing going on. Let's go back to fast. And deal up a hand. Tie. Another tie. Banker bet. Ooh, things lighten up. Okay. This would be hand 21. We are looking at a player bet. And so here, over here, we are looking at a, um, a variance of four to two that the um, banker will stay a banker and not go to two bankers, and it's going to go to player. So we are going to bet $50 on player. Let's go back to medium. Ooh. Oh, oh, yeah, I forgot I'm player. <laughs> okay, cool. Sorry. <laughs> I was thinking I was banker for a second from those three bankers. So we won the player bet. That puts us back to two units up. And we got the player. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. All right, back to that famous player side where we still have the variance of five to one. Then we'll go to bankers. So. We will be placing a banker bet here on hand 22, banker. Let's see what happens. Oh, player snuck it out. Okay, so we lost that one. Puts us back to plus one units as you see our shoe balance is $45 and that was a player bet and nothing for the next bet so let's deal up one eight to player still nothing a banker Okay, I kind of like this. Jumping on hand 25, we will go a player bet. So we have a five to two disparity that um, it will go to player. So we will bet player for $50. And let's see how we do. Come on. Oh. Lost. Okay. Back to zero. Actually, negative five on the shoe with commissions. So, record that. Oop. That gave me another trigger. So, hand 26, we will be betting 
declare on a two to nothing disparity that it will not go to three um, bankers, which you can see it hasn't. We've had once it went to two, two, one, <laughs> one, two times it's gone to two already. Three, three that's the three times. Uh, it's right now it's a unconfirmed two right now. So we have two. times it's gone to two. <laughs> well, if that wasn't confusing. Um, and one, and it hasn't gone to three at all. So that, that was the whole point. <laughs> okay, two times it's gone, it stayed, and it's never gone to uh, three. So anyways, <laughs> the bet is a player, despite my poor explanation. Okay, so let's see if we can get this one. Oh, go on. yeah. All right, cool. Won that. So now we're back up one unit with a player bet. And... Not the most positive one, so I'm going to take a hand here. The thing is, you're not going to be betting every hand. You're going to be um, selective in your bets, and you're going to be looking for the biggest um, variance. Here we get a banker. Oh, okay. That one looks better. Um, going to do hand 28 We're going to be betting a player we have a five to three disparities with some other factors weighed in so i'm going to be betting 50 dollars on player here we go Ooh, eight six seven oh Arr. Okay. Lost that one. Back to zero again. All right. Carry on. Back to five dollars down. Um, that was a banker bet. Mm, no. I'm going to take a free hand. Get a banker. Oh, also, um, we only really play till three down. Um, there are more advanced techniques you can use, but um, three is where we're, going to, where we're going to be capping it here. Uh, you can bet an opposite three at this point, but uh, we're not going to be betting any trends. Um, Okay, so I'm not seeing anything, so take another hand, banker. Nada. Player. No. Banker. No, disparity is not big enough, so I'm going to just pass. I'm gonna, and we go to player. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> yeah, okay. This is... Yeah, I'm going to jump on this one. I have a 7 to 2 that it will go to banker. So... Put fifty dollars on banker on hand thirty four. Okay, come on bank. Yeah, yeah, nice niner. Natural nine wins, and we're back up plus one unit. So that will be a banker. Hmm. Okay, 
I kind of like this one. And 35. Got a 6 to 4 disparity that it will go to player. So I am going to take a shot on the player here. Hoping to get to 2 up. Oh, pull that out. Got the eight. Okay, won that. We are now back to two up where we were like on, I don't know, early in the game. <laughs> up $92.50. Okay, let's see. That is a player. So we enter that in. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm tempted to place this as a banker bet but I think I'm just going to pass on this one I'm getting kind of a conflicting um, message here so let's deal it up Okay, good thing I, I held off. It was a player win. So we'll give the player that one. And we got nothing. So let's get a free hand here to player. Nothing. Banker. Um, yeah, that's kind of hard to pass up. Um, hand 39, I am going to go player, because I am looking at a 7 to 4 disparity that it will go to player, so let's go fifty dollars to player and I guess this would be for the win because this would give us our three units here let's see what happens we want 50 on player and let's see if we can finish it out here Oh, yes. All right. There's our win. It's up three units. Um, it's pretty good. Up $142.50. Um, let me enter that one and see what we got. Oh, 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 Shamu, Shamu. Okay, we're going to go one more, which I normally... You don't go, but um, I really like how this looks. We're looking at an eight to three disparity that um, this is going to go banker. So um, let's uh, finish it off here. See if we can get that fourth unit. Um, like I said, normally I would stop at three, but um, for entertainment purposes and a really nice looking uh, stat here, I want to see if we get this banker right here. So one last one. Uh oh 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 yeah pulls it off gets the banker win all right there we go up four units for a hundred and ninety dollars pretty good pretty good that's kind of a sneak peek of what i've been working on like i said i want to get some more experience going on here and um more stats before i do a full uh, endorsement of what i'm doing so um yeah that was pretty nice. That's flat betting, baby. 190 bucks with only $200 at risk. So almost 100% profit right there. Uh, that's pretty good. So um, don't know when the next video is going to come out. Might be another couple weeks because, like I said, I want to get more stats built up and um, continuing on with my training. And uh, we'll see how it goes. So until next time. Bakra Nation, signing out.